What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Banks, aka DJ Banks CEO. We are Jersey Magazine, and you are now in tune with WAJ Magazine. And I'm here with my guy, Drasmatic. No doubt, no doubt, no Appreciate doubt. Appreciate you coming through, my brother. All no the way doubt. from Trenton, New Jersey, man. You already know, man. Drasmatic in the building. Make sure you go check out that EP on all streaming platforms. Play it by ear. Eight track EP. It dropped on March 17, but you already know. It is there. Make sure you go stream it on all streaming platforms. Straight fire, too. Straight all lava. <laughs> so let's get right into it, man. Uh, you've been doing this for a while, brother. You've been doing this since the 90s, but you are still relevant. You're still pushing music, still pushing the passion. So I want to kind of talk about your walk with becoming an artist. Like, when did you kind of know this was something that you wanted to get into and, and still are pursuing to today? Hey, once I, when I recorded my first demo, it was a rap after that. I knew this is what I need to do, cause the first the first demo I did was was raw. You feel me? Mm. So it's like you you the feedback the feedback is what pushed me forward to keep going. Uh, always got positive feedback. You know what I'm saying? I was always able to compete with whoever. You know what I mean? Whatever MC. You know what I'm saying? So it's like. When you're on a certain level, and you can rock with the big dogs, yeah. then it's like, how do you, how do you not keep going? No, absolutely. It you do it's like you acquire a taste for it, you know what I'm saying? And then you know, once you acquire a taste for it, you build your hunger. Your hunger starts to build naturally, and from there you just feed your appetite. And basically, that's all I did is just kept feeding my appetite. Stay hungry, um, stay in tune with all the current shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Everything that was happening. And as the times evolve, you know, I evolved with the times, but didn't right, sway, yeah. but didn't sway too much off of my path. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or yeah. sway too much away from my style. So if you really go back, like my style pretty much been the same style. It's just the bars got better. I mean, yeah, and yeah. the appetite got bigger and, you know, just started to expand and picked up different jewels along the way and the, the stuff that made sense. I kept it with me and you just learn from everybody's mistakes and watch, watch the game itself. Yeah. As long as you stay in tune with the game itself, then from there, you're going you're gonna to know what to do. You know what I mean? And I guess... My moral compass just led the way. I like that. I like that. Bars got better, appetite got bigger. That's that's the quote for the year, <laughs> all by yourself. And speaking about your lyricism, a lot of a lot of your wordplay by itself is talking about real life experiences. Yeah. And the fact is that you have these 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 experiences that you've lived through, and that you're applying it to your lyricism to kind of tell people, listen, been there, done that. This works. This doesn't work. So it's almost like you're giving back to the community through your bars without even. Like without even going out there doing anything, so music yeah. in and of itself is already a, a, a portrayal of your story of giving back to the community. So I commend you for that, brother, for being able to give back to the community in a way of, of shedding light of your own story. Because a lot of people are very shy about their story, or they um, they feel guilty about it. But the fact that you're able to put that into music into a more positive passion, it's amazing, brother. Yeah, you know your story got to be told because you know what I'm saying when you dead and gone, you dead and gone. So. You put your story out there because, you know, especially in this day and age, this era that we living in, we in a cyber era where you got YouTube, yeah, whatever. I mean, God forbid, you know, the whole internet crash forever or some shit like that. But if that don't happen, our stories is here to stay. I like that. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Our stories is here to stay. So, you know, what I do is. I try to put as much content out there because I want to be remembered. And then the more you tell your story, the less anybody else could tell your story. Yeah, 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 so yeah, yeah. Who, who who's better to tell your story than you? Yeah. Than you. Yeah. I you know like what that. I mean? It ain't you ain't got to Google shit. I'm telling you, you're hearing it straight from the horse's mouth. Yeah, yeah. You feel me? Ain't nobody make up nothing. I like that. Yeah. So you're getting the facts straight from me. I like that. You know what I'm saying? Now, now let's talk about this, the, the album, the EP, uh, Play It By Air, right? So, eight tracks, dropped on March 17th. Now, first off, is there any significance to the, the drop date by itself? Just like, let's go off the beginning. Well, 
uh, the drop date was, the EP was done probably like a week or two before that. Um, you know, just a couple technical things. I had to, had to dot my I's, cross my T's. Uh, just make sure everything was complete and it was presented the right way. So basically, um, the date doesn't mean anything. I just picked a random date because it didn't make sense to wait. Wait for what? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. What am I? You know what I mean? Because you know, we trying to we trying to flood the market. I like that. Yeah. So it's like, wait for what? Let's get this off the press. Hit them off with that. Again. And then from there, and get right to it. The next one coming. Yeah. You feel me? What kind of what kind of drives Mag do we see on this EP as opposed to some of the other ones that you've done? Um, this drasmatic right here, more focus, um, a lot wiser. You know, um, take I always took the game serious, but now it's like I'm focused. Like I'm like I'm like super focused right now. You feel me? So, right now, I got the right support that I need now. Yeah, yeah. And I guess if, you know, to answer your question, a lot of times in the past, I had the passion. I knew what I wanted to do. I didn't have all the pieces, but I still went on a journey. I like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, right now, what you're seeing is me with all the pieces that I need, not all the pieces, but I got the majority of the pieces. I got the majority of the things that I need to carry on the mission. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got, I got my core, my core support is stronger than ever. You know what I'm saying? I got an actual core. So it's like before it was me. I got to go right now. I don't got all the tools. I don't got everything I'm supposed to have. Yeah, but you had to move. But I got yeah. me and I got bars, yeah, so yeah. let's go. Now it's like, I got I got a core. My foundation is stronger. You know what I'm saying? I got my own platform to stand on. Yeah, yeah. The other drafts was just the MC slash beat maker. This drafts right here, CEO. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Record label owner, MC first still, but I feel more protected now because I got my own platform. I got yeah. my own website. The business aspect. You yeah. know, so right now I put myself in a position to be able to feed me and my people like that. and the yeah. people that rock with me. What was it like? Me? What was it like for that transition though, from going from a straight MC to a CEO boss, boss up status? Because you know that's too different. That's too. It's a, it's a, it's a lane in and of itself that could be. Combined, but it's a it's a step up from like not doing all the work to doing all the work and still wanting to be a uh, uh, the, the artist and the producer and the beat maker and everything. So like even that balance in and of itself. Well, um, basically, you know, eventually at some point in time, you want to see your hard work pay off. Yeah. So the way the game going and the way the game went. Streaming made it easy and it made it made you accessible so that your fans could get to you quicker than going to a record store. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But when you do the math on the streams, the revenue that streams generate is not the same as going to buy a ten dollar C D yeah. out of a store. Yeah, that's yeah, that's different. You feel now, me? Yeah. So it's like um you know, YouTube, you get a million streams. I don't know what the actual payout is, but you probably get like a ten thousand dollars or something, something, whatever the math is. But a million CDs sold, yeah, mm -hmm. versus a million streams, very different. You know what I'm saying? You, 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 you could just see that. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, I love the game, but at the same time, I want to get to the point where. I can put myself in a position to eat. The people that's with me, they can eat. Yeah, yeah. And I could do more for my people this way. First going to a, a record label, you know, because where we at right now, 
It's like the most a record label, a major label could do is pay for expensive features. Right, right, right. Outside of a record label paying for expensive features, what 4K is 4K. Mm -hmm. No matter who shot the camera, 4K is 4K. 6K is 6K. So we, the, uh, we got access to all the hardware to be able to produce and put shit together Yourself. ourselves. Yeah, yeah, in house, yeah. So, so now we coming out of, we coming out the gate with quality music, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, quality videos, and you know just the quality there. So, all you really got to do now is your only obstacle is marketing and promotion. Absolutely, right, right. Versus before it was quality. And before they was trying to, um, you know, I believe in uh, creative freedom. I, I believe in creative control. I believe in having your own identity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I believe in having your hands in your own project. Like your hands really in your project. Versus you coming to getting a record deal they give you a budget, or they give you an advance, not even necessarily a budget. They put a budget on you, but they may give you an advance. Right, right. But when they give you the advance, once you take the advance, it's like you owe. Yeah. You owe, you, you got to listen to what they're saying. You know what I'm saying? Um, if somebody, they feel is whatever more than you, they got the power to put you on the shelf. You know what I mean? It's people that signed deals, been signed forever, and still ain't dropped yet. Right, right, right. You see what I'm saying? Right now, I can leave out the building and drop a single before right I get to the car. Yeah, yeah. You see what I'm saying? On your own, yeah. So it's like, just the power, the power and the will to be able to do what you want, when you want to do it, yeah. and release when you want. And to answer your question for before, like if the 17th had anything to do with it, it didn't have nothing to do with nothing, it was my label, so I just said, Let's go. You feel me? I like that. Yeah. He's ready for liftoff. You know what I'm saying? And we just took off from there. And we're, ha me? and we're having that passion behind e everything you even just described with the label and being able to have uh, my own rights to my music and being able to do what I want, how I want. You, you gave that passion in your EP. So I want to ask you, what was one of your... I know it's gonna be hard to pick. <laughs> what was one of your, your, your favorites, but also the one that you could say I, I probably told the most of my story and you can see the, the evolution of my lyricism in. Because all of them were hard. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, I think, I think my favorite joint on the, um, I mean, if you want to talk about me, then the actual title track, Play It By Ear, you know, that's probably like the, the most I got into my personal life. Yeah, yeah. On that actual track, as far as my favorite, um, I got to go with We Won. Yeah, yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, we yeah. won. That's my that's my joint. You feel me? Like, we won. You know what I'm saying? And that talks about like your core and what you've gained now to the aspect of how you yeah how you um, spread in music. You now. know, it's like yo, ain't no stopping us now. Like why you had him and fat and yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? They trying to figure us out, man. Questions they ask and you know what I mean? So it's like that one right there. That's my shit. You feel me? I don't know. That's yeah. just my. But at the same time, they all, they all running neck to neck. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Are, they all real close, yeah. And it's like, you know, a lot of people tell me that they could play it straight through without skipping a song. It's true. It's, it's very true. You know what I'm saying? So, so it's hard, you know what I'm saying? Because, you know, it's like, you can't put, you can't show one kid favoritism yeah, over yeah. there. They all my kids. I so it's it. like, that's how I look at the songs. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But overall, whole shit hard so <laughs> that's like a, a hard ass question yeah, to answer yeah. you feel me that's why you gotta go stream play it by ear now because everything straight through from one to the end is fire so make sure you go check it out play it by ear now obviously everybody's gonna want to know which tracks you doing the video to brother uh we shot a video for crash the party okay shot a video for um you know the vibes oh, all right um 
And this weekend coming up, be shooting a video for a start of the story. And then shortly later on down the month, the last video I'll probably shoot off of that is we won. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And how do you come up with the concepts for those videos? Like, what is like, what is, is it telling the story of each part of the actual track, or is it just like a story that's already made up that just the track goes to? Like, what, how do you go through it? Well, um, you know, the vibes, you know, when you actually see the video, that, that video, um, you know, it got, it got clips and things in the video that's pertaining to things that we saying on yeah. the actual track. Right, right. Uh, Crash the Party, you know, we just we just killing our shit. And the whole Crash the Party video is not necessarily about us going to our party, party, party. Right, right. You know, Crash the Party is basically saying that, you know, like, we from Jersey, the industry don't want to let us in because the industry picks their certain regions that they may focus on for a minute. Right, right. So if you're not sounding like whatever they talking about at the time, you know what I'm saying, then they try to play you to the left or play you okay, whatever, I say, whatever. Yeah, I say so that, Crash yeah. the Party just basically means that it's metaphorically speaking and Crash the Party just mean that we don't give a fuck what the vibe is, what's going on up. What songs is out right now? We coming. Yeah, yeah. That's all it means. So, that's the whole uh, meaning behind Crash the Party. It wasn't that we was at a club and the. Yeah, because that's what I'm sure that everybody's gonna be thinking. But yeah, that's but what you're yeah, saying. it ain't like that. It's yeah. more. It's more of a. Um, you know, we sound different. What we doing is different. But we coming. Yeah. We coming regardless of what we we gonna show up. That's fine. That's all that mean. You feel that's me? That's fine. Yeah. Now, one of my last questions for you is, what do we have to look forward to from Eastern Standard Time Records, man? What do we, what do we have to look forward to for 2023, man? It's still early, yeah. so I know y'all pushing. Um, you know, more lava, more lava, um, and more lava. <laughs> started, started yeah. another uh, EP. A uh, man, probably like four songs into that. Then you got uh, Killer Cow coming. You got Ruby Rez coming. Big shout out. Big shout out, yeah. Um, Quiet Storm, he coming. And just more content. I'm trying to flood, flood, just flooding with more content. Stay in their face as much as I can. Every day I'm on it, you know what I'm saying? And we don't plan on disappearing. You feel me? Yeah. Like we here to stay. So, so, you know, just more content, more songs, you know what I mean? More, more real hip hop, you know what I'm saying? And we just gonna keep coming, that's it. Yeah. Until we reach a level that we comfortable with. Yeah, yeah. And then, and then even then, you know what I'm saying? It ain't over, we still gonna be on it. I'm, y'all gonna, y'all gonna, they gonna have to deal with me till I'm dead. You feel me? That's just how it go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Stop for what? You know what I'm saying? We here, we gonna keep coming. That's your passion. I ain't build yeah. an empire, I ain't build this empire to fucking be here for a second. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So we got to drive this shit until the wheels fall off. And then we're going to get new wheels. <laughs> and then yeah. we're going to fucking do it all over again, you feel me? And that's just how it's going to go, you feel me? But um, just going to keep repping New Jersey. Yeah, yeah. Um, just rep Jersey, man. Just rep Jersey, Eastern Standard Time Records. And, of course, Trenton, New Jersey, where I'm from. Yeah. You know what I mean? And... That's pretty much the forecast from here on out. You let's, feel me? Let's get it. I love to hear it, brother. You know what I'm saying? You heard it here first, man. We are Jersey Magazine. Drasmatic in the building. Make sure you go check out that EP. Play it by ear. Awesome platforms. AEP track. Make sure you go tell them how to follow you. Get you everything. Yo, Drasmatic. D-R-A-Z-M-A-T-I-K. On all platforms. IG, Drasmatic. Facebook, Drasmatic. YouTube, Drasmatic. Eastern Standard Time Records, YouTube also. Uh, and make sure you go to the website, www.easternstandardtimerecords.com, where you can get downloads straight from us. You know what I'm saying? You, you got the merch, other available content, tour dates, and a whole lot of other shit. 
just log on to the website and that'll keep you up to date with the movement, where we at with it, where we had it, what we accomplished, and what's up next. Let's go. You heard it here first, man. We are Jersey Magazine, Jazzmatics. We are Jersey.